Hi, it's Brian here from Niche Advice. Hope you're well. Please smash the like button if you do like these videos. It really does help us get to uh, the top of the table when it comes to YouTube algorithms. Um, right, I thought I'd talk about mobile phones and missed and late payments on mobile phones. How do they affect getting a mortgage? Um, obviously, that's one of the most common type of late or missed payments or defaults we get uh, for applicants looking to get a mortgage. Um, and it can, you know, it can be quite damaging. So um, let's go through some of the bits and pieces now. So, um, you know, you can have lots of different types of missed payments. They, you know, when somebody says to me, I've got bad credit, or can you get me a mortgage with bad credit? And I go, well, what's a bad credit? Because there are different things. On the lighter end of things, it could be a utility bill late payment or a mobile phone late payment. So I will class that as the lighter stuff right the way through to missed mortgage payments and county court judgments and defaults and IVAs and debt management. So there's a big spectrum when you're dealing with mortgages with bad credit. Specifically when you're dealing with mobile phone late payments, um, there are two schools of thoughts really. There's the high street lenders and there's the non high street lenders. So let's talk about the high street guys first. Essentially they will view it as late payments of an unsecured debt. So um, they'll pretty much see it as a you know late payment on a credit card maybe or late payment on a unsecured loan or late payment on maybe overdraft or something so um, um general rule is look you know if it's just late payment maybe one month late on a mobile phone as long as it's not in the last three to six months three months you should be all right okay and i think you would get through that um if it's you know a default maybe then it's just going to be classed as a default they don't really care right they don't have a criteria where it says we'll ignore it because it was mobile phone okay a lot of the lenders um, so really it comes down to when was it how many months late was it did it go all the way through to default or not so um, we've just got to uh, you know we're gonna have a look at the credit report on that the next uh, type is type of lenders is the specialist lenders so that's if you've had other things as well because unfortunately there's a trend okay if you've had a mobile phone default it's a higher chance that you've got other things that you've missed missed on so that could be you know normally what you get is mobile mobile phone defaults maybe utility bills maybe overdrafts maybe payday loans right the way through to car finance that's been missed you know all sorts of things happen so um if that is the case, then it's classified and we've probably got to go, we probably can't get away with going down the high street and we have to go to a non-high street lender. What I mean by that, a specialist lender, is, you know, they will accept um, and they will deal with people that have had blips on their credit profile and have had issues with their credit profile. So generally, uh, when it comes to them, the good news is, a lot of them, and in fact, I was just checking on one of the criteria systems that I used, there was up to 12 lenders that will ignore mobile phone late payments. And that's fantastic. Now, um, you know, they're, they're specialist lenders. So what that means is, let's say if the high streets uh, got a rate of, I don't know, 2%, um, these guys will probably be sitting at 3.5%, okay, 4% maybe. So you are looking to pay almost double the rates. So you've just got to be mindful that uh, you know that but the thing is these are not for people that have had just one mobile phone late payments or two mobile phone late payments these are people that have had other things accompanying a mobile phone so you could have two ccjs from three years ago you could have a missed mortgage payments from two years ago you could have loan payments that have been missed however in the last three months you could have had a mobile phone late payment well, they'll ignore the mobile phone late payment some of them will actually ignore mobile phone defaults which means it's been six months late, okay? But they'll still ignore it. So um, so there's good points and bad points. Some of the good points is they're great on credit profile. And some of the bad points are the specialist lenders, they're generally on the income multiple side of things. They normally cap out, cap out around four and a half times income. So they're not as generous when it comes to income multiples. They will take things like pension contributions into account, where if you had to go to the high street, a lot of the lenders will ignore pension contributions. So again, it affects affordability. So a lot more tighter on affordability. Also, the rate's higher. But more importantly, um, 
the deposit requirements are greater. So before the pandemic, you could get a 90% loan to value mortgage for a non-standard specialist lender on a residential basis. Um, at the moment, I know of one that does 15% deposit. The rest of them are all sitting at 20% deposit. So you've just got to be mindful. There's probably, there's probably one or two more at 15%, but generally you need to have 20% if you've had other issues. Okay, um, so specialist lenders, that's where they're sitting right now. Obviously, if you had the odd one or two mobile phone payments, we've got to look at it and say, right, let's find the high street lender. Let's try to go down the high street lender because they've got a better rate, because they're better on income multiples. And let's see if we can find a tolerant-ish high street lender. The more deposit you have, the greater the chance that we've got. So I've actually also just written an article on it with a lot more information around missed mobile phone payments, some of the other criteria around it. So I'll put the link in my video in the description below um, and go and check it out at nicheadvice.co.uk. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching these videos. Uh, I know mortgages are not the most um, sexiest topic in the world. However, uh, it's something most people are considering, most people are involved in, whether you've got one, whether you're thinking of getting one. Uh, and I really do appreciate the support that you, we receive and the comments that I've had through the channel. Please do like and subscribe and share if you can. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you so much. Take care. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.